Good day, everybody. We are expected to find the area of the shaded region. Now, before I could start, let me mention this. The solution to this question has already been presented by another content provider. But what I'm going to do here is another alternate method. You can view this method and you can also view the other method done by the author and you can compare them and whichever appeals to your mind, you can take that method. So having mentioned that, this is the another way to find the area of the shaded region. So for most what I wish to do is I would like to use my beautiful tool to draw the circle. Okay, so this is the circle. Now there is a center here. Now having drawn the center, we are now expected to draw another small circle. So let me draw the small circle. I need a ruler for that. So let me draw the circle. This is the other circle. And I need to have a chord here. Right. And if I were to connect the points. So from here to here this is the radius of the big circle. So what I will do is I will draw this in black. From here to here is the radius but this information which is given not only covers the radius but goes beyond the radius. So this is the point say some point O this entire distance is given to be as 48 up until this point, right? So it is not the radius, but radius plus small distance. Now, then on, the line flows. The line flows and this distance is given to be as 8 units. This is given to be as 8 units. Now, we are expected to find the area of the shaded region. So that means we need this area, all of these, without the small circle. And nothing is given to us. With regard to the small circle, we have no information. All that is given is about the large circle. So successfully, I have drawn the figure. I hope you are able to get a better view. So now what I need to do is I need to find foremost what I'm going to do is I would like to take the following information. Let capital R be the radius of big circle. Let small r be the radius of small circle okay so when I talk about radius I'm talking about let me plot this uh, point okay, let this point be A let this point be B so AB is the radius and let this point be C let this point be D so AB is a radius AD is a radius and the AC is also a radius, the small radius I'm talking about. Now to calculate, first we need to calculate capital R. So to calculate capital R, what I wish to do is I would like to complete a right angle or right triangle, that's the best word to say. Now what I wish to do is from this point I would like to draw a line, right? So from the center to C, OC is capital R, right? You agree with me? Now AC is small r, right? Now I am going to be connecting A with B. So if I connect A with B, let me make the connection. I'm going to dot it up. Okay, dot, 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 dot. 
okay I have dotted I have dotted that point now I know a uh, in fact a b is a rate a smaller now this is equal to a b but we need for the Pythagoras we need we need o a we need this so how am I going to get o a now clearly if I were to take say for example this to be as some e o e is equal to capital R right o e this entire length is capital R now to get o a what I need to do is let me write that down o a is equal to from capital R from this this entire entire length I need to subtract E A so if I were to do that this is going to be capital R minus 8 units which is going to give me O A probably this would be the all important part that you would have to find now once you find this out the entire question is simple now what I wish to do is I would like to utilize the Pythagoras theorem now to find the radius of the large circle that is going to be equal to 48 this distance now what is 48 48 is nothing but BF BF is 48 units so do not misunderstand OF to be 48 because if OF is known clearly we can solve the question but we are not given OF but we are given BF so from this point on the small circle to capital F is 48 units so to get capital R I need to add this and AB is small r I have taken let R be the radius of the circle so in this case AB is going to be equal to small r so capital R is equal to 48 plus this distance small r plus EA now EA or AE is 8 units this is also given in the question so that should also be added but since we are talking about the radius we have to divide the entire thing by 2 so this is going to be equal to 48 added with 8 would give me 56 plus r divided by 2 this is my radius so r is bar now as I have mentioned to you I would like to use the Pythagoras theorem so from the formula of Pythagoras r squared will be equal to o a squared plus a c squared right because we are applying Pythagoras to the triangle to the right triangle c a o C A O right and that is the reason we need O A squared so having mentioned that let me put in the values O A is going to be R negative 8 raised to the power of 2 positive A C squared is going to be equal to small r so this is equal to small r but that has to be raised to the power of 2 so now we need to actually obtain the value of r small r so for that let me substitute or I should say let me expand the values first so this is going to be r squared plus 8 squared is 64 negative 16 r positive r squared on the right hand side I mean on the left hand side you got another r squared so if I were to take away this r squared and this r squared I would be left with r squared negative 16 r positive 64 is equal to 0 right this is capital R right so r squared negative 16 r positive 64 is equal to 0 but what is my r my r is equal to 1 over 2 times 56 plus r take this value and substitute it here here so that means r squared negative 16 times of 56 plus r divided by 2 positive 64 is equal to 0 2 divides here 8 times so this is r squared negative 8 of 56 plus r plus 64 is equal to 0 
This is nothing but R squared, 6 eighths of 48, 4, 5 eighths of 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, and negative 8 R and positive 64 is equal to 0. This is what you are getting. So what I wish to do is from 4, 4, 8, I would have to take away positive 64. This is 4, this is 8 and 3. So I get R squared, negative 8R, negative 384 is equal to 0. So this is a quadratic in R. We can utilize quadratic formula. So 8 plus or minus root of 64, negative, negative, positive, 4 times 3, 8, 4 divided by 2. So 4, 4s are 16, 1, 32, 33 and 3. 4 3s are 12, 13, 14, 15 added with 64. So this is going to be 10, 1 and you got a 10 and 1. So 1600. So R is equal to 8 plus or minus root of 1600 divided by 2. This is equal to 8 plus or minus. That's going to be 40 divided by 2 which is going to be 48 divided by 2 which is equal to 24. We don't have to take the negative value. Right. So R is equal to 24. So if R is equal to 24, what is my capital R? Therefore, capital R is nothing but 56 plus R divided by 2, which is equal to 24, 56 plus 24 divided by 2, which is nothing but 6 out of 4 is 10, 7, 8 divided by 2, which is equal to 40. So capital R is equal to 40 units. So, we are expected to find the area of the shaded part, right? So, first you want to find the area of the big circle. So, area of large or big, whatever you want, you name it, is equal to pi r squared, which is nothing but pi. My r is 40 units. 40 units, that's squared, 1600 pi. So, area of small circle is equal to pi r squared. Now r is equal to 24. So 24 squared times pi. But we don't need the total area for the small circle. Right. So we need we need only the area of the semicircle. So area of the semicircle is going to be equal to half times area of the area of the small circle. Now uh, that's going to be 1 over 2 times. Area of the small circle is 576 pi units. That's going to be 2 and 8 to the 16, 1, 8, 2, 8, 8 pi. So therefore the area of the shaded region, area of shaded region is equal to area of the large circle minus area of the semi circle right so area of the large circle is 1600 pi area of the semi circle is 288 pi so 1600 288 pi 10 2 9 1 5 3 1 3 1 2 so that's equal to 1312 pi square units so this is the answer. Thank you everybody. Enjoy your night.